this is Alex with Trouble Fashion Girl and today I'm going to show you how to pack for a round the world trip or any other type of trip with the Maximista packing list from Trouble Fashion Girl amount of clothing. That's 15 items, 5 bottoms, 3 dresses and 7 tops. So I'm going to pack all of this using only 4 slim compass rose travel accessories packing cubes. I've already pre-packed the fourth cube. It has two bras, a nude and a black bra, a multi-way bra, 10 underwear, leggings and tank top that will serve as sleepwear or as workout wear if needed, and silk thermals. That's all in here. So I'm going to put this aside while I pack the rest of the clothing in these three compass rose packing cubes. They're numbered so we know exactly what's going to go inside and in this example I'm going to put all of my tops in number one, the dresses in number two, and the pants in number three. And that's really just the way I like to organize it. You can pack it however it would make the most sense to you. Now these packing cubes may look slim but they actually fit quite a lot. They're really durable and have very sturdy mesh and materials and structure which I absolutely love. So in this example we've got seven different tops. One, two, three, four tank tops, one classic white beat neck tee, one button up blouse, and one merino wool sweater. So the idea is that I could wear all of these tops with a majority of the bottoms to mix and match and make a variety of outfits. So I'm going to start, as you can see I've already folded everything. What I'm going to do is now I'm just going to go ahead and start rolling the items and putting them inside the cube. I've got actually three of the same exact tops in here because I really like this style. So what I do is as I'm putting things in, I start closing the packing cube and zipping it. That way I can adjust the clothing as I pack it in. This strategy helps you maximize the clothing. I'm going to grab the next one, start rolling that up, press that one in as well. Depending on how much stuff I have inside, I could either roll this way and then put it sideways or make it into a bit of a smaller bundle, which I like to do. You can do a variety of things depending on the fabric. You can layer them together. You can adjust as you're going along, as you can see right here. So I'm going to just push that in and then I'm going to zip it up a little bit more. Use the packing cubes not just to organize but also to compress it. And now I'm going to get to a bit of a bulkier item, my button up long sleeve. This is going to start going here towards the end and you can see so I've got six tops in here already. You might not pack the exact same things or you might not even need to pack this many tops. This is really the maximum tops I recommend. Seven tops, one for every day of the week. This is just an extreme example. So now I filled up the packing cube but there's still tons of space. So in order to fit this last piece, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and push everything down so it could just kind of compress and I can make a little bit more space. I'm going to roll it up and it's a merino wool sweater. It's one of my favorite things when it's cold because it's maximum warmth without the bulk. So we've got that in right now. Seven tops. If I really wanted to take another top, I probably have room. So what I do in that case is I would bring the zippers down to this end and do the same thing I did on the other is I would push down or I would fold something, do like a half roll, half fold and put it in this space. But we're going to leave this here for now. You don't want to use this method to take more than you need. These strategies help you get more stuff in a carry-on. Now this is packing cube number two and I'm going to be using it to pack my dresses. Again, I'm using the guidelines on the Maximista packing list, one of the signature packing lists on Travel Fashion Girl. And I've got two sleeveless tank dresses, one which is my classic LBD, my favorite travel dress, and the other which is a maxi dress. I'm going to roll this one up. I'm going to pack it on this side. Now I've got a couple of options with this dress. I could fold it and pack it this way and then pack this one on top and there I have the number two packing cube I know has all my dresses or I could roll them and make a little bit of room for more. So I'm going to go ahead and roll these just in case I want more room. I'm going to close that up showing you the strategy on one end. Push that down. So now we've got tons of space in here but no more dresses. So what I might do is I might use this extra room for my bottoms or I might use the extra room for something else. So we'll leave this 
here on the side for now. Moving on to packing cube number three, I'm gonna go ahead and open that up, and this is gonna be where I'm gonna put my bottoms. Two shorts, one travel pants, one jeans, and one set of trousers pants for hot weather. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by folding these up. And the cool thing about these is that they're great, they're nice and lightweight, but these actually match one of the tops that I'm packing. They're the exact same print, so I can pair them together for a romper style look. These are my favorite travel pants. In fact, they're one of my favorite just regular pants in the world, the Anatomy Skylers. They're the best travel pants ever. They pack light, they, you can wear them to go hiking. I've worn them to go to Machu Picchu. I've worn them to dress up and you know, speak at conferences. I've, I've worn them just for about anything. I'm gonna roll these going across the packing cube horizontally versus vertically. So I'm just gonna roll these up like this. I'm gonna put them in here. I'm gonna go ahead and zip this up to see how the room feels in the packing cubes. Now remember, packing cubes, yeah, they can organize your clothes, but they can also help you compress, which is what we're doing here. So it looks like we still have room for more. I'm gonna actually repack this because I feel like there's a better way. Sometimes you have to adjust things before you get the perfect fit. And in this case, I've just folded my jeans and I've put them in. Now I'm gonna leave the short folded as well. Maybe I'll even try doing a small fold. Put them here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and zip that up. And you just kind of try to have a trial and error, see how the packing cube fits the best. Now I have an uneven amount of spacing. I could probably move this down here. I'm gonna start over. And the reason why I wanted to show this to you guys is because I wanna I want show you guys my thinking. I don't wanna just give you the, this perfectly packed packing cube video and show you how an expert does it. It's trial and error. Sometimes some things work better than others. I'm gonna push these down and make room here on the side. I'm not really showing you this as much so you guys can pack the exact same thing Maybe you guys don't like shorts, maybe you don't like sleeveless tops, maybe you wanna only pack dresses. And that's totally fine because you should pack the things that make you happy, the things that you feel the most comfortable wearing. But what I want you to take from this video is, number one, the strategy, how to pack a packing cube where it, you can maximize the space and not just use them to organize your clothing, but also how it's possible to pack so many items in just three slim packing cubes by Compass Rose Travel Accessories. Again, we put seven tops in here, put three dresses in number two, we've still got half the space left, and this is a pretty full packing cube. Number three, I think we're good. But you know, when I'm traveling, let's say I'm gonna be going somewhere and I wanna be ready for anything, and I know it might be cold. This is a down jacket, and I'm gonna try to fit it in here because there's still room where the dresses are. I'm gonna go ahead and use the technique I showed you guys. I'm gonna make some room. I'm gonna put this one in, and I wanted to see if I could actually fit it in here because that way, let's say I wore this on the plane and then I didn't wanna take it anymore. I could just put it away later on. Here's a tip, guys. I put my finger here so the zippers don't catch on the clothing. I close the zippers and voila. Done. And this is really um, one of the cool things about the Compass Rose Packing Cubes. They actually have YKK zippers. They're really pretty hardcore stuff. <laughs> Let's not forget the number four packing cube that's already packed. This has thick silk thermals, a tank, and a set of um, leggings by Under Armour. I've got 10 underwear and a variety of styles with two bras packed in. So to recap, We've now just finished packing 15 clothing items plus a down jacket in four slim packing cubes. Now, I wanna just point out, normally I travel with 10 pieces of clothing. Normally I suggest a capsule wardrobe of 10 clothing items that you can mix and match. And in this case, I packed way more than that. I've kind of tried to just maximize the space here for the video to show you what you could do. It's actually a set of carry-on size packing cubes by Compass Rose. They're all numbered, one, two, three, and four, so you always know what's inside your packing cubes. Plus, they're also color-coded, so each set has two different colors to help you organize and maximize your space. So, this has been Alex with Travel Fashion Girl. I hope that you've enjoyed this packing tutorial, and remember, take from this the packing principles, not necessarily exact clothing. These are the things that I like to wear. So make sure you just accommodate them 
to meet your needs and your own style preferences. Please head over to TravelFashionGirl.com, check out our packing lists, and also check out our new product line, Compass Rose.